Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with C++ inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will explore what type of C++ applications that you can build on Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So C++, if you don't know, is a powerful general purpose programming language. It can be used to develop operating system, browsers, games, and so on. C++ supports different ways of programming like procedure, object, functional, and so on. So enough of all of the talking. So let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see here, yeah, I've actually opened the Visual Studio 2022, the latest version as of this video. So if you haven't downloaded and installed the Visual Studio 2022, as I just did you so but Let's open the Visual Studio installer. So here, I'm actually using the community 2022. So once you open the Visual Studio installer, let's click on the modifier. So here, obviously, we've got a bunch of packages or components that you can actually, or workloads that you can actually install into your Visual Studio. So this is what we're going to look at. So here, as you can see, I've got desktop development with C++. So this will actually help you to build more than C++ apps for Windows using tools of your choice, including MSVC, CLang, CMake, MS Build, and whatnot, yeah? So once we actually select this here, as you can see, I've already got it selected. That means I've actually downloaded it and installed it, yeah? So this, will actually include, these are the optional um, components that will be actually included. So this will be C++, 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 make tools for Windows. I'm not sure it's included, but obviously if that's what you want, you can actually download and install it, yeah? And if we scroll down, see we've got a bunch of tools that are not, uh, that are not installed already. So if whatever tools that you want to install, you can just check the box, yeah? And then you can click here, download or download and install. Yeah, so if we look at down here too, we've also got um, mobile development with C++. Yeah, so this will actually help you build cross-platform applications for iOS, Android, or Windows using C++ here. Yeah. So once again, if we check on that box here, yeah, so on the, on, the, on the detail side or installation detail side here, yeah, you can you can see what that you, what what sort of components that you can add to it, yeah. So here I've got a bunch of them selected. You can also add C plus plus iOS development tools. And once we also scroll down, here as you can see, we've got game development with C plus plus here. So this will help you use the full power of C++ to build professional games powered by DirectX, Unreal, and Cocos 2D. So this basically uh, is to help you build games using the C++. So once we scroll down again, So here, as you can see, I've got Linux and embedded development with C++. So this actually helps you create and debug application running in a Linux environment or on an embedded device. Yeah, so as you can see, I've not selected it, but once you select it, yeah, you can get um, all the development components that you need. So once you're done with this bit here, then you close it and we come to the Visual Studio. So we close the installer. So we open. We create. We start to create a new project. So a new project. So here we can select the language. So as here we've got a bunch of languages that I've actually installed. So you select the C plus plus here, yeah? and here we've got it on all platforms and all project types here. Yeah? So here, these are the bunch of these are a bunch of um, applications or projects that you can. You can get started with using the C++, yeah? 
So here we've got a console latch here. So this run in Windows Terminal. Yeah, this is just the default one to print a hello world. So, but it's just a C++ console application. And we, we can also build a Windows desktop wizard. Yeah, using C++. We can also build a Windows desktop application using C++. Yeah, so for later on, we're just going to select one of the projects and we look at it, yeah? So as you can see, we've got a bunch of projects that we can do. We can build using the C++, yeah? Like a basic, uh, basic application or basic Android application. So basically, this will actually help you build a basic Android application, right? So we're just going to select the console at first, yes. Yeah? So this will actually help you build a C++ command line application, yeah? And we click on next. So here, obviously, you can configure the project details, yeah? We click on the create. So it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing loads. So as you can see here now, we've got a, a basic, a literally blank C++, C++ command line application. So this is just for building a very simple console apps here. Yeah? So as you can see, I've got a very simple one that actually prints out hello world, yeah? So there's nothing really fanciful here. So this is just a console app here to print out hello world. Yeah, we can also add, so as you can see here, yeah, we can right click on the solution and add a new project. So here we can add a Windows desktop application, this bit here. So this is a project for, this is a project for an application with a graphical user interface that run on Windows, right? So we select it, we click next, and here, obviously, you can configure the project details, like the project name and the, and the location of that project. We're not going to look too much into that. We're just going to click on it. So as you can see here, we've got, um, we've got the source file, which contains the project of CPP. So this got this usual stuff just to get you started in terms of building a Windows desktop application, yeah. We're not going to look too much into that, but obviously if you have time, then you can have a look. So what we do is we're just going to run this very simple Windows desktop application to see what actually comes out of it here. So obviously you can run it by clicking on this play button here, or you can, okay, you can use the F5 to run it. So basically, this is this is the the console app running, yeah. So we're just gonna since we've got two projects at the moment, we won't, we will select um we we will select this and we set it as start project. So basically, this will actually run once we click on the third file. So as you can see here now. We've got a blank Windows app running at the moment, a Windows desktop application running at the moment. So basically, this is just to get you started in terms of building uh, applications inside, a, uh, inside of Visual Studio. But the next video, obviously, we look, to, we look into details how we can actually build a desktop application. But obviously, we must start from the command line, yeah? So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Please make sure you do because, you know, I've got loads of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Bless.